Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? This is Joker News, live and fresh. So everybody is saying that Straight Drop is in protective custody because of a red jumpsuit, but that's not necessarily true. The real reason he's in protective custody is because they got him stuck in a way from his new lawyer on how he's going to figure out how to get him out by simply saying that Straight Drop saw shooters on the inside of Makita's hidden Dolph and that he tried to get to them before they high-tilted out the back running, and that's really the only reason that they would run up to the window. But then, what they're going to try to say is he was trying to be the top dog security boy for Makita's, so technically it could be true if the lawyer tries to use this as an argument. You could go on the low, get him out just like how they did it last time, and the thing that Straight Drop is looking towards is for a lawyer that knows his way around the system that could get him out because there are specific laws made in Tennessee that there are loopholes to get you out because back in the past, laws that were made by the big dogs, so that very specific laws that were broke by them, and you know, they were like, oh yeah, let's just make a new law and get around the earlier rule that they're breaking and can easily get themselves out of a sticky situation when they get themselves all caught up in the mess in reality, you know what I'm saying? And so Straight Drop's lawyer is going to use that same move to figure out a way around to get Straight Drop to seem like he is a security guy from Makita's. And they're going to be like, yeah, yeah, our boy, he came up with his mask all properly up and over here, making sure that he, you know, ran up to be on the go and be responsive. So if that lawyer can, you know, just have that as his argument, he could argue that even if the lawyer is wrong, that, you know, they can all be wrong. And still have a good argument to have a judge and a jury take. So don't forget about those things. And things could go south and be real messed up, but they can still find a way to get him out of the predicament he is in. They just have to find a way or a loophole of some sort to argue the rules. So, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Is that this guy right here is always trying to get out with all these little exceptions and shortcuts. And they find a way to beat the system. So... That's what he's trying to look for, and that's why the lawyer from CMG said that would be looking too shady, and it's just way too sketchy on his end, because all the little finesses that Straight Drop wants the lawyer to be doing is just going to make CMG look like a day exactly with it. So, you know, that's why he had to drop him, and the new lawyer that he's about to use is going to figure out some sort of way around to say that the thing about the two guys running out the back were the guys pulling the straps. And Straight Drop just came up and tried to hit at them and that he hit Dolph in them or vice versa. You know what I'm saying. Even though he's against Dolph, they're going to try and say that he was trying to get the guys just because he was seeing guys pulling straps left and right. And he thought he was going to get popped or something as well. You know, so we really have to start paying attention now so we can see the bigger picture. And things don't just go unnoticed and we don't know the true story of it all, right? Because, you know, this is a crazy case right now. And if these guys, lawyers and the CMGs get new lawyers to find some sort of way to get straight drop out, then what's about to happen is that this guy is most definitely going to try to keep him separated from everybody in the whole cell house. So around this time, he's not going to get beat no more because now he's separated already and they have you know, him in the red jumpsuit now, but, you know, his first day in, he definitely got jumped, and y'all don't realize, but after that, now he's in a red jumpsuit, and they're bringing his meals under the cell, and they just slide it in there, and make sure that when the OC comes up, he makes sure to slide the tray in, that it just fucking tilts and flips, and he wants to make sure that it just tips over and falls all over, so in a way, he can't properly enjoy his meal, and is miserable eating it. So, you know, how it is right now for Straight Drop. He's getting the tough love and not getting that easy treatment in there. And COs and even the CEOs are just making life tough for him. And it's brutal. And yeah, somebody is eventually going to try and get him, whether it's in the middle of them transferring people or whenever they get yard time or even if they get to do workouts or something of the sort. At some point, they're going to have to get. And if they drop the charges on him, and if they drop those charges lower, then he will have to get out and he'll be in general population because you know that's going to be a way lower charge and they're going to be acting like man if they lower this charge his charges they're going to have to move him to general population or something like that 
but we're going to find those secret news for you and keep you updated. And hey, please stay tuned, everybody, and make sure to like and subscribe and share to your friends. And, you know, let's get started on with the second part of the video. Now to continue to the next part of the video about what's going on with our boy Yo Gotti and those two guys that ran out the back. And they know your boy Yo Gotti on the low. And they're his people that we've seen in a music video before. And what we really got to pay attention to and find out is that where were they coming from? Kentucky, Indiana, or from Illinois? Because you remember the black truck or that black Tahoe? or a navigator had Illinois plates on it, but it also could have potentially been a rental. And going to the facts from Straight Drop, getting caught up in Indiana is a little shady and makes one think because that's also connected to Illinois. But in that whole entire area has Kentucky also in it, which Yogati got an artist to EST, ESTG signed in Kentucky. So, you know, they got birdies and watchmen all over the area that area that reaches from the east to the Midwest and the East Coast Midwest area. And if you think about it, it makes sense that as the goons are getting recruited out of those areas with CMG signing to him, it's just, you know, obvious you could easily see it that there are people coming out of Kentucky signing the CMG trying to make sure that the whole area and surrounding area are tied up with them. So in that way, they could have people doing hits and they could just run out the back and go back to their little area. And now nobody knows them in Memphis. So now you got people that's not even from the Memphis area to just waltz right in and get their dirty work done for them. So in this way, they can return to work where they're at. And it's now like even more difficult to identify the people now because... They were now never seen in Memphis, so no witnesses are going to be able to say they exactly know of that person or they're not going to be able to give a name or any info because they never seen them. If they are from Kentucky or if they're from Illinois or even Indiana or whatever the situation is, right? Dallas, you know, where Stray Drop was hiding out and Black Youngsta did the diss and now Black Youngsta is staying on the low because, you know, being super quiet. And has nothing to, you know, has said nothing since that one little diss he pulled because that has now gotten, gotten him into, you know, big trouble. And now his lawyer is about to drop him just because that lawyer is now at risk of getting hit as a part of the whole Rico case and situation you already know. When that Rico case hits, they're all going to be telling one after another, just like Dahl said. And, you know, when the boys want to come through and get you, you're going to tell on the whole gang. And so that's what it is. And everybody, everyone wants to, you know, scream gang, gang, gang. And then they want to go honor Hogan. So basically he called it and he predicted exactly how it was going to play out. And so what basically happened here when that Rico hits, it's just going to be all bad and it's going to be a big downfall and there will be no type of structure to hold it anymore. You know, um, set up in Memphis and you're going to see Memphis being even more crazy and you know now all that stuff like that and I hope you enjoyed stay tuned and remember like and subscribe see everyone later